Hey, what's going on? It's Dan Liu. And in this video, I want to show you how to quickly add a progress bar to your videos using Camtasia. Now, this is a great way to keep people engaged and make sure they watch your videos in its entirety. Now, this is very popular with Gary V or Gary Vaynerchuk videos, but it's been adopted by many uh, people online. So inside of Camtasia, the first thing you want to do is go up to annotations and into the shapes tab. So from here, I'm gonna pull in a shape and I'm gonna drag it so that it spans the entire frame uh, or the entire duration of my video. I'm gonna drag it to where I want the progress bar to actually show up inside the video. And then I want to assign it uh, whatever color I want. So if you have brand colors, uh, then you can put that in. And once you have your shape in there, the next thing is to apply a transition. So you want to use the slide right transition. So I'm going to apply that to the shape and then I'm going to drag it out. So like the shape, it covers the entire duration of the video. So I'm going to play it and you're going to see the bar um, being created as it goes. Hey, what's up? It's Dan Liu. If you're an entrepreneur or a business who's looking to generate more leads and customers online, then I put together a free marketing toolkit for you. All right. So pretty cool, right? Now, once you have that in there, I would just go and double check to make sure that the progress bar functions all the way to the end as you want it. Now, another way, instead of having the green show up and slowly grow bigger over time, uh, you can start with the full green bar and as the video progresses, the green gets less and less green just being uh, the color I chose in this case, but it can be whatever you choose for your videos. So if you wanted to go that route and you'll probably better understand after I show you, then what you would do is I would, or I would delete out this transition here and then I would add in another um, bar here. I'm going to overlay it. But first, again, I want to make sure it spans the entire duration of the video clip. And then I want to overlay that new shape over top. And then I'm going to apply the transition to the new shape. And once again, that transition should also span the entire duration of the clip. So now if I play it, you'll see what happens. Hey, what's up? It's Dan Liu. If you're an entrepreneur or a business who's looking to generate more leads and customers online, then I put together a free marketing toolkit for you. So those are two different ways to create progress bars. Hopefully one of them is going to suit your needs. There really is no right or wrong. So it's going to be up to your personal preference of how you want to do it. But I wanted to give you both options uh, so that you had it available for when you create your own videos. So hopefully you got value out of this. If you did, make sure to click that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe as I continue to produce more videos to help you with your marketing and growing your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.